Good day, fellow Neverwinter players. If you find any of the information presented in this video useful, or if you have critiques, please hit me up on Twitch. That's www.twitch.tv slash lord underscore willow underscore. Today, as part of my weekly series for M17 Preview, I'm going to share some key learnings and news regarding M17 Uprising as seen on the preview server for week two. Please keep in mind that anything seen on preview is subject to change before go live, as the Neverwinter development team continues to fix bugs, streamline the player experience, and release more content as it becomes ready. Since the last video, we have had two patches on preview, one on July 12th and one on July 16th. The July 12th patch didn't add any noticeable content to the game, but did introduce scenarios that made the new expeditions very difficult to complete, with enemies having as many as 3 million hit points each, as well as making the Tower of the Mad Mage trial virtually impossible to test. The July 16th patch amended this, bringing expedition and trial difficulty back into reasonable ranges. However, testers have found several more bugs in the trial, which have been reported. The July 16th patch also introduced new mechanics for the expeditions in the form of Githyanki and Illithid Master Expeditions with new ending areas for these expeditions. Of the key things still missing in preview are trial rewards, which when released I do hope will reflect the trial difficulty, as well as a means to determine campaign completion. In other news, we also have a new Zen pack for purchase on the PC that includes coal wards that can be claimed immediately and a new companion. When M17 releases, this pack will also uh, allow you to claim a butterfly swarm mount, which appears to be a sort of reskin of the swarm mount as seen in the Ravenloft campaign. While we haven't seen much of anything in the realm of class balance changes, we do have a change in how temporary hit points work. Namely, temp hit points no longer stack. The newest source of temp hit points right now replaces the previous temp hit points. This means if you are running the Tower of the Mad Mage trial with say a healing paladin and a ranger using Stagheart, which was boosted on the ranger from 5% temp HP to 15% temp HP, the ranger has a chance of replacing the paladin's much larger temp HP provided with a much lower temp HP bar. The same goes for any other class or players that provide temp hit points. In other news, we have confirmation via the ARC forums that Combat Advantage does indeed have a maximum range. This range is currently 20 feet from the target. This means that anytime you are further than 20 feet from the target, you should not be doing any Combat Advantage damage to the target. The good news is that we may see this range extended to as far as 85 feet. Whether or not this will be changed before M17 goes live, time will tell. Until then, you should adjust your playstyle accordingly to ensure that your party is positioned to utilize combat advantage to its maximum benefit. As a side note, please keep in mind that we have never had a Neverwinter module release that didn't include a surprise for Go Live, a surprise that was never on preview. In M16, it was a change to the exact exchange. In previous modules, it was changes that were just as impactful to the player community. So please be careful how much AD or Zen you are spending prior to module release. If you found this information helpful, please check out my Twitch TV channel. That's www.twitch.tv slash lord underscore will underscore. Thank you for your time and have a good day.